Hi, this is Mike from Minimal 3DP, and today I'm going to be doing a review of the Fixed Dry Filament Dryer. So let's go ahead and get started. So recently, Fixed Dry has sent me their NT2 filament dryer to test out, and they've sent this to me for free, so I haven't bought it. But I'm going to go ahead and do an honest unboxing and review of this filament dryer. And I'll be honest, this is the first filament dryer. I've ever used. I've only built my own out of a food dehydrator, which I'll be honest has worked okay. And I'm really hoping to see a difference with this fixed dry filament dryer. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. So when I head over to fixed dry's website, I'm taking a quick look here at the specifications of the NT2. It looks like it's a 40 watt heater built-in fan, and what's pretty cool is it's a touch screen. So I'm looking forward to trying that. It looks like it's set up to go up to 70C, which should cover most of any type of filament I want to use. In my case, I print primarily with PLA and PLA+, Plus, which puts me at about 50 degrees Celsius. So this looks like it has some pretty good features. And again, that touch screen, I think will be pretty, make it pretty easy to use. So I'm going to switch over and let's unbox this thing. Now I will point out this is a little banged up and I think this has more to do with the local delivery than the way it was shipped. Now this one did come from Fixed Dry's website. I've noticed that they're sold both directly from Fixed Dry but then also from Amazon. Now pulling this out, there is plenty of packing in here keep this thing safe. I'm actually surprised it's it's a little heavy, which is in my mind a good thing. So I'm going to set this down. And as I said it's very well packed. There's some, uh, more foam in the bottom. And is this the front or the back? Oh, let me see. I think that's the front. For right now we'll do that. Looks like I have everything out of the box. So let's put that aside. So we have a fan on the back, power switch, and I believe this is the touch screen here. So let's remove the protective film. And this is handy. On the side here, it actually has recommended temperatures for each of the types of filament, which for me that's handy because I don't have to look it up. Uh, so let's see. I bet there's some tape on here somewhere. Let's, oh, there it goes. The whole top comes off. Top comes off. Inside, I have a Bowden tube. And I also have a the instruction manual. So it looks like I could put the Bowden tube in here if I actually want to run the film and straight out of it into my printer. In my case, I probably won't do that, but it's not because the way this is designed, it's more because I just don't have enough room. But looking inside, it looks like filament sits right in there. So there's rollers on the bottom here. So those rollers will allow me again to run the filament directly out of here. So let's go ahead and get it plugged in. Well, first let me look at the manual and We'll get it plugged in and then run some tests. Now, as I pointed out, there is a printed manual with this, but I've also discovered on their website, they have a PDF version. So we'll take a look at that. That way I'm not holding up a little booklet in front of the camera. Now, unlike what I would normally do, I'm actually going to read through the manual, which would be a good thing. Basically, they're telling me not to uh, Touch the heating hole, uh, keep it plugged in when not in use. So don't keep it plugged in. Just look at this. So they're installing the Teflon tube. And as I pointed out, the Teflon tube, the Bowden tube can go on either side of the dryer. Yeah. 
So what we're gonna do is let me plug this thing in. I'm gonna move the camera closer so we can take a look at the touch screen. Now I'm gonna apologize because unfortunately it is very shiny, so you're getting my reflection. So let's see if this works. So I've just turned it on. And there we go. So you can see that does have a really nice display. I'm just touching the controls here. And that is crystal clear. So I like that. Now, let's see what the next steps are. So looking at the manual for PLA, looks like if I'm doing 50C, I should be drying it for over four hours. So it looks like between four and five hours. So what I'm gonna do is I have a roll of filament that I've had sitting here forever, sitting out in the humidity in my office, which right now is showing at 55% on the display. I'm gonna weigh the roll of filament, and then we'll put it in the film a dryer and I'll let it run for maybe between four and five hours, pull it out and then we'll see how it is. So give me one second, let me get my scale out and we'll take a look. So I have my roll of film in here and this is a Nova PLA and it's marble. And let's put it on here. So that's measuring at 916 grams. So let me write that down. So we have 916 grams. And then let's go ahead and put it in the filament dryer and we'll see where that puts it. So let's turn this off, put this up, and then just start with the filament dryer. Okay, so I have the filament in. I'm gonna hit the settings button, set it 50 degrees or 50 degrees Celsius, which is right. I'm going to set this at four and a half. So let's move to 430. Hit the settings button again for it to accept. And now hit settings again because it's flashing to set change to Fahrenheit. I just want to keep it at Celsius. And we're just going to let this run. As you can see, it is slowly heating up. And I'll let this run for four and a half hours. And we'll see how it goes. And after four and a half hours, I'll pull it out. We'll measure our filament to see if we've taken some moisture out of it. And then I'll give you my final thoughts on this filament dryer. So far, I'm impressed with the build quality. It's easy to use, I understand it. And we'll go ahead and move forward. So I finished drying my roll of filament. It actually reset it after I finished, so it doesn't say zero, but it did actually finish. While it was drying, I've checked the sides and the top. Nothing actually felt extremely hot on the outside. It did get down to about 13% humidity inside, so I think that's good. Now, something I want to point out real quick that I, I forgot to mention again, pointed out that it's not hot to the touch on the outside as it's heating up. I've turned it back on, and what's interesting is it is whisper quiet. This is much quieter than my food dehydrator, to the point where I actually had to, with one of my printers on in my office, I've had to actually listen to the back of it to make sure it's actually running. Um, so one nice thing about this that I really need to stress is it's super quiet. Um, now, on the downside, maybe a little bit, is it does heat up pretty slowly. So just to be aware of that, as you can see, I've turned it back on. It's slowly pulling the humidity down while it's heating up but it is gonna take probably a couple minutes to get to that full 50C. Um, something I would probably do differently with my roll of filament, particularly the PLA, 
is next time I may bump that up a little bit, maybe to 55 as opposed to 50. So what I'm gonna do now is take the filament out and then weigh it and see what that looks like. So give me a second, I'll get my scale going. Now weighing this, it looks like I have a slight change in filament weight. I'm not sure if I can attribute that to filament dryer or just my scale not being too good. But again, I'm gonna say this a positive result. From what I've seen with filament dryer, I really like it. I like how it works. I'm thinking this is a little bit better set up than my food dehydrator, mainly because it's small and compact and has a smaller area to warm up uh, to get things going. So let's switch back to film and try and just take a couple of last looks at it. On the whole, so far I really like the Fix Dry NT2 film and dryer. Feels like it, it, it's a good product that I'm going to wind up keep using. I still have my old self-made food dehydrator for filament, but I'm thinking with this, there's a smaller area in here that smaller heating chamber, and basically just looking at the readouts, it's reducing humidity probably by 50% inside the chamber as it's drying, so it's pulling out a lot of moisture. I think it's well worth it. Now, I'm just gonna switch over and let's take a look at some of the reviews and, and see what we're saying. Now, from my perspective, looking at the Fixed Dry website, there's one review. I always have trouble looking at the reviews on a manufacturer's website, but if I go over and look on Amazon, it looks pretty good as well on the NT2 on Amazon. It's got four stars with 349 reviews. Right now, there's a 25% off coupon. So that puts it down at about $40. I've got a pretty good deal, um, which is a, about equivalent to what you can get it for on the Fix Dry website. I think there's a, another coupon here, and there's a 10% off discount code in the video description here if you're interested. So overall, I think the fixed dry filament dryer is a worthy tool to add to your arsenal. I'm a big proponent. I have a lot of various filaments here, and I usually are drying these out. As I mentioned before, I have a self-made filament dryer that was from a food dehydrator. I think it was one of the first videos I did. I'll put a link above. So overall, I like this. If you need a filament dryer, I don't think you can go wrong with this one. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. Again, I want to thank you for your time and hope you have a good day. And if I don't talk to you between now and then, I hope you have a ho happy holiday season. Hi, this is Mike from Minimal 3DP, and I want to thank you for joining me today. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. If you need some additional help, I've also posted some links in the video description. You can set up a 15 minute help session with me and I'm more than happy to sit down with you and see if I can help you out. If you need some additional help, I'm also going to try doing one hour sessions for anybody that's interested. And like I said, I'm testing this stuff out. I want to thank you again for joining me and I look forward to talking to you again next time. Thanks. Have a good day.